Today is the day we're going to install it. So I've lifted it all into the cupboard and um, have started attaching the wall mounting screws to show us how that's done. So we'll get over there and have a look at it right now. There it is in the cupboard. Okay. Now, you can mount it high up on a wall. It does have very good feet on it. So I'm just going to use these simple wall brackets here. And then I'll put a screw through there and on the other side to attach it to the wall. Okay, so that's what the black one looks like. So we're going to pick him up, put him on there like that, and push him in. And he went click and he's in. Well, that's how simple is that, people? Okay, I was just about to screw this communications cable in. And I noticed the rubber seal and everything in the bottom and the screw on fitting here and how well this battery's look for design um, I'm, I'm gonna give Dia a 10 out of 10 and I don't usually do that to anybody All right, people, I got the battery mounted in. It's all going and working. Um, we'll come back and have a look tomorrow. Uh, good morning, everybody. Okay, as you can see down the bottom, it's just past 10 a.m. Um, the battery's installed, as you would have seen. Now we've got to look at the BMS and the BMS protocols. To do that, I open the DARE approved battery lists and there's a lot of, a lot of pages in here. I'll just... Okay, I will attach this um, approved list to the end of the video. Uh, but what I'm after here is Dia. And over here, I'll look quickly, there's my battery there. So it's the RW-M6.1. So that's the battery we want. So when I set up the lithium can, I need to set it to zero, zero, which I've already done, but I'll take it out there and show you as anyway. Okay, here we are, we're outside. We'll go and have a look at this battery and uh, quickly show you uh, how to do the can settings and have a look at the battery while it's charging now. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the cabinet. And that's what all the little lights look like on the battery. Okay, so to get to the cam settings on this. Okay, you go into the little cog at the top. And then you go to battery settings across there. I'll try and hold the camera still. Okay, um, I haven't set the amp hours yet. Because it is uh, jointly connected. I've got both. Uh, systems currently charging this battery and we go to battery setting uh, tick the, the down arrow and the down arrow again and there we've got the lithium mode settings for the battery and you can see I've set it to a zero zero and to set those you simply touch them till you've got the line and then come down here and you can either hit your up or down arrows to change those settings or if you want to scroll through them you can just scroll through the settings with your down arrows that's it's real easy to do it's not hard um, anything to do with this inverter is not hard you just need to know how to navigate around the system um, yeah that's that's basically it people It's not difficult at all. And then you've got your advanced functions, basic setting, generator port, device information. And this is all explained really well in the DIA manual as well. Okay. So that's what she looks like. And that's the install complete. 
Um, I will attach the, like I said, the battery information which gives you all those settings. And of course in the previous video, we I have the unboxing video, I linked the battery PDF file at the end of the video. Well, I actually didn't link it. I, I uh, took each individual page and, and, and put them in the video and you can see the charge settings that you, parameters that you need to set. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you need all the battery informa information and the settings uh, for the different batteries, just keep watching it and yeah. Keep safe everybody. Bye for now.